everyone, I'm Magda and today I'm gonna share with you my journey to splits. Last month before Christmas I was doing some stretches to splits and I will tell you more about it right now. So there is so many people, fitness instructors online or influencers who encourage you to do stretches for splits or split challenge and promise you the results in 15-30 days. They promise you to get splits in one month and stuff like this. And I decided to check it. Is it possible to get split in 30 days for an unflexible or I would say not flexible at all person who does not exercise a lot and uh, have never achieved splits in her life? And that's a goal for every single year for me. And I wanted to check if you are not doing anything during the year towards splits. Can you do it in last month? Can you do it in 30 days? So do not get bored and to be more flexible about timing and type of exercises I'm gonna do every single day. I chose seven different videos from fitness instructors on YouTube with the length between 10 and 30 minutes. So that way, one day, if I have only 10 minutes, I'm not gonna have excuse to not stretch. So I chose some more or less popular videos on YouTube from different fitness instructors and I chose two videos from Boohoo Boho Beautiful, however you pronounce it. One of them was 30 day challenge and another one was full split in 14 days. So we already have the promise in the title, so it should be great. Another person that I chose was Cassie from Belgilares and I chose three different videos from which one of them was with her sister Jacqueline who is a yoga instructor and the videos were 30 minutes stretch for splits, yoga for splits, that one was with her sister and feel good stretches for splits. Last two videos were from Psych True which was 12 minutes stretches for splits and from a YouTuber that I didn't know but when I typed stretches for split she showed up, Rachel Anna Marie de Meet. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. Let's call her Rachel. So she had a program of 10 minutes stretching routine. So for one month during 30 days, I did stretches almost every day. I actually missed, I actually missed seven days. And you will ask, why did you do it? It's not 30 days. Because I believe that if your body doesn't feel like stretching you cannot push it and that's my personal opinion about exercising and stretching and i think it's a healthy way of thinking and i don't think that exercising and pushing yourself too much it's healthy because it actually may cause you some injuries so if my body was sore and actually my body was sore after first two days of practice and i got the break on the third day because i could not walk my legs were so sore and it sounds so ridiculous but that's how bad i am with stretching and with exercises so trust me I'm really unflexible. So also somewhere here on the screen you can see the schedule, what day, which video I've done, how many minutes and I have to tell you twice I got very creative and I actually did my own set of stretches which were based on the videos or my knowledge from fitness instructors on the gym which I had previously and I did my own set of stretches for about 30-40 minutes while watching Grey's Anatomy new episodes. <laughs> So I was just watching the Grey's Anatomy episode on my laptop and doing some random stretches, holding some positions for a few seconds and, uh, and yeah. After all this month, I can tell you that my favorite video for stretches from these which I decided to do was Blogilates video with her sister and actually this video was 25 minutes long, it was fun, it was not boring, nicely done and the stretches were really good and I felt really really stretched after all and that's actually the last video I've done before showing you results. The other two videos that I really enjoyed were short videos from Psychitech which was really nice because there was instructor who was really really stretched and she was doing splits easily and then there was her friend who was on a mat next to her and she was more or less on my level so it's really nice to see that not everybody has to be so good as instructor and that there are people who struggle as you. And also that way she was able to show all the motivations she was just doing. If you cannot do it, just look what my friend does and you would just follow what her friend does. And that way you could modify your stretch. I also really liked the 10 minute stretch routine from Rachel, but it was very, very dynamic. And I'm not sure how well it was done in a way. All the other videos were really like, let's say, chill yoga way of doing exercises. And this one was like, ha, 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 you have to move. Yeah, you can see it on the video that I'm showing you right now, how dynamic it was. And I was not sure if it's that great because once after I've done her exercises, I felt very, very sore. And I know that was actually a correct way of doing it because I have never seen someone doing splits in that dynamic way. So maybe she's correct. I don't know. I'm not a 
fitness instructor, I cannot tell you. But I didn't feel well as a body. I felt really, really well while exercising, but I've done it actually a few times only because I was afraid that I may get injury or something because it was so different from other videos and my body hurt after. <laughs> And unfortunately, I have to tell you that Boho Beautiful videos for me were a little bit too chill, a little bit boring, I would say. Her voice is really relaxing and I'm sure that it's perfect for yoga, but I preferred other videos for splits. So you already saw some highlights of the videos of me stretching, but in this moment, I would like to make a disclaimer that I am not a fitness instructor. I don't have any type of certificate of personal trainer or any type of background about it. My knowledge was mainly from fitness instructors who I've met in the past on the gym, where, for example, I was in Poland, I was uh, going for the stretching classes, so it was two years ago. <laughs> um, I was going for the stretching classes with the fitness instructor area, mostly doing stretches for splits, and from the videos I was following what the instructors on YouTube were telling me. So I'm not an expert, I might have done some mistakes and maybe my approach is not correct. So please don't copy my movements, don't copy what I've done, because as I told you, I don't have the knowledge about it, education or anything like this. It was more for me and for you to figure out if this is possible or not. If you want to do the same thing, you do it for your own, because I'm not qualified to do it. So please don't copy my videos or don't copy my movements because maybe they are incorrect. But I can tell you that I didn't get any injury and I survived it and soon you're gonna see the results. But if you are considering to do stretches or you are considering to start your journey with exercises, please consider contacting someone who is a specialist, who is a personal trainer or fitness instructor, instead of just watching or following free YouTube videos where no one will correct you or may get just injured because of it. So about that. You can see me doing before every single video more or less the same type of exercises where I'm doing some type of swings of my legs or uh, some type of hip movement or something like this and that's actually the warm-up which I was missing in almost all videos only again in the video with Jacqueline and Cassie from Blogilares where Jacqueline her sister was actually doing some warm-up. Cassie in another video mentioned it that you should be warmed up that you should either do it after exercises or long walk that way your legs gonna be warmed up but she actually didn't do any warm-up so that's the part that I miss in all of these videos because I only knew about warming up before doing splits because of the fitness instructor I had in Poland and most exercises that I was doing and you could see on the video were the exercises that we were doing before the class that way we were prepared warmed up with our legs to do the stretches and maybe achieve splits halfway through the stretching to get to splits and I just finished my stretching for today it was pretty quick I would say 10 12 minutes and now we will check my results halfway through so this is the position of the camera where I exactly started to uh, to do it this is right leg still a lot missing <laughs> And this is my left leg. Much more missing than right leg and I'm not that squared. 
like here and hips. If I would be squared, squared, it's here. But I can push down to here. So yeah, guys, this was 15 days of stretching, 15 more to go. Maybe it's possible to get it in 30 days. We will see. And that's why you came here to watch this video is is it possible to achieve splits in 30 days drum rolls <laughs> hey guys so today is the last day and we're gonna check how i improved and if i managed to do the split and there is my mat waiting for me i'm gonna put some yoga pants and put the video maybe the longer one so i'm gonna get a good deep stretch and we're gonna measure how much i improved so i hope you're gonna enjoy it and let's watch it. Okay guys, it's time to do a check. I just stretched. So I will switch the camera position to the place I've done it for the first time. So the floor, instead of being a little bit up, as I do it for the videos. And uh, and yeah, let's check 30 days of splits. How did it go? So this is my mod. This is me in the same leggings I did it first day. And I'm gonna do my right leg. So this leg first in front. So we will see. So it's definitely a huge improvement for first day. <laughs> Is it such a huge improvement from half week? I wouldn't say so. But yeah, definitely way to go. I will probably do another video showing you a result after a few months of stretching. But that's probably gonna be after Christmas. So I may have a little bit of the of the house of Split for Christmas. So let's do left leg, which is always worse. But it's not that far. I mean, like, it depends. <laughs> My hips are not that square with this one. So if I wanted to do very, very squared hips, I would be somewhere here. But let's cheat a little bit. So that would be it. We have to continue, I would say not bad. Here are my results. This is a video that I made the last day of stretches and these are my results. So basically, as you can see, I haven't achieved split. Did I achieve a lot? Yes, because I loosen in my hips so much. I make shorter the gap between my hips and the floor. There was a weird thing happening because when I was stretching in Poland, my left leg was actually more stretched than my right leg. And normally right-handed people are also better with right leg. So it was pretty weird because I'm writing with right hand and doing everything with my right hand, but I was actually better with left leg. And now, unlike every other person, my split was actually better on my right leg than my left leg. But as you can see, I haven't achieved split, but it was huge. Like the difference between first day and last day of the gap between my legs and the floor is amazing. And I wanted to tell you that I will continue with splits. I will probably do the break for January, where I'm gonna do 30 days of yoga with Adrian challenge, but it's still stretching. I'm not gonna make a huge break. I have done break for Christmas, so for sure I haven't done any stretches between Christmas and New Year's. And yeah, I'm gonna continue this uh, journey with splits because I'm surprised how much you can get by doing stretches. And I think my approach of trying different instructors was really good because for example if i would get video for 10 minutes i don't think that would be enough and i would get that much results also if i would get to for example boohoo beautiful videos i would probably 
leave it because it would be too boring. It was better to get the variety of videos. So that way I had something to choose from and I didn't have an excuse that I don't have time or that I don't wanna do half an hour of stretches and stuff like this. So maybe I'm gonna search some more videos, but I for sure will continue this journey and I will tell you how long it took me to get split because the goal for 2021, if you don't know yet, which is in this video, is to get split. And yeah, I will tell you how long it took me if it was one month more or two or three or six or how did it go? But I think it's possible. I think it's a great stretching routine and for sure I will continue. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you will change your way of thinking about all the promises of 15 days or 30 days changes about fitness instructors. I wouldn't say that it's clickbait, but I would say it's a way to motivate you because in one moment I really, really thought that it's possible and I was just like pushing myself not too much, not too much, just, <laughs> just as much as it was a little bit uncomfortable. And I think that it's a pretty cool thing to set for yourself for a new year's goal to either stretch or exercise but as i told you earlier if you're new in this thing contact someone who is professional contact someone who knows what they're talking about and don't just blindly watch youtube videos and hope it's gonna be all great so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like button and please let me know in comments down below if you did some type of split challenge or if you want to do it in new year or some type of any other fitness goals you have or you had and you achieved please leave them in the comments down below and if you want to see more of my videos subscribe to my channel and check all the other videos i have on my channel and i'll see you in another video